Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan. I am with West Desert Shooter and today I take out my Uinta Precision UPR 15s. One of them is a 224 Valkyrie and my other one is a 6mm ARC. I'm going to run them head to head and see how they compare at long range, down range, and at the end of the video we're actually going to have a summary where we talk about the different drops that we actually saw on steel out of the range. Both of these rifles utilize a 22 inch barrel. The 6 ARC is a one to seven and a half twist with three R rifling. That means it's got all the same benefits as five R, just larger lands and grooves to engage with the bullet. On the 224 Valkyrie, again, 22 inch barrel. This one's got a one to seven twist for the 22 cal bullets. The Valkyrie was using a Wit machine brake and a Vortex Diamondback tactical scope whereas my 6 ARC has a preferred barrel sixer brake and an Arkin EP4 optic. I'm going to compare factory Hornady ammunition between the 6mm ARC and the 224 Valkyrie. 6 ARC, I'm going to use the 108 grain ELD match by Hornady, and the 224 Valkyrie, I'm going to use the 88 grain ELD match. Both are heavy four caliber, meaning the 88 grain and a 22 is a pretty heavy bullet, and the 108 grain and a six mil is a pretty heavy bullet. Target is at 100 yards. Seven fifty-eight. Okay, that was five shots with the six ARC. Again, factory ammunition, Hornady eighty-eight grain ELD match for two two four Valkyrie. Okay, that's it for the Valkyrie. My Ballistic AE app is calling for 22 MOA up at 825 yards with the 224 Valkyrie going 2650 FPS. So Vortex Diamond back. Tactical, so there's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There we go. Target's up on the hillside at a 9.6 degree angle. I've also included that in my uh, ballistic calculator. All right, guys, 224 Valkyrie, 88 grain ELD, factory ammo, 825 yards. I've dialed up 22 MOA in the scope on my Vortex Diamondback Tactical. Let's see how it gets along. Just off the left edge. Back. Stop the right edge. In back. All right, guys. So that elevation worked out just perfect for my ballistic calculator. Yeah, just a little bit of wind fighting me, but not much at all. I'm holding on the target, which is only. And MOA wide from here. Here we go. Over the top. Oh, just right. All right, that's going to be the Valkyrie for 825 yards. Did decent. Um, it didn't rock the plate a whole lot, but I was still able to see if I had hit the plate and it did ring it fairly well. But uh, these plates, out of all the plates I have, these probably ring the loudest. All right, guys, now we're getting to the six arc at 825 yards. This is my Uinta Precision Complete Rifle. 
which means it has their matching upper and lower receivers. They are billet machined and uh, the designs really mesh well together as well as they designed them intentionally to give you a tighter upper and lower fit for a more precise AR. This has got my Arkin EP4 on top of the rifle. There's an affiliate link to Arkin in the description and I'll also post an affiliate link to Amazon where you can pick up that Diamondback Tactical and compare them against each other if you'd like. Ballistic calculator calling for 5.9 MOA up. Zip up there on my Arkin. Okay, here we go guys. Impact. I can see it was close, didn't get a call on it. No call. Again, the plate moves pretty good. I don't know if it's a huge advantage over the 22. I could still spot my impacts and misses with the 22 as well. So let's see how she does here. Right. Just left. Just dancing right around the edges of those plates. So let's go back to the target, take a look at what we hit. All right, I moved the targets from 825 to the 300 yard range. And at this point, taking a look at the groups from 825, uh, this is the six arc target. I got three just along the right edge. Obviously that's three out of 10, so this isn't really an indication of group size, but uh, just out there at long range with this factory ammo, this is what I was able to get a hit on target. And this is a uh, 15 inch wide piece of steel. If we take a look at the Valkyrie, <laughs> the actual impact was here. And then up in that right hand corner. So basically across the plate, but uh, two shots out of 10 there. Um, the six arc did seem to move the plate a little more. Um, the sound was pretty dang similar actually between the 224 and the six mil. Okay guys, 300 yard line. And it is calling for one mil up on my six arc. We're gonna see how the ballistic chart compares. See where the actual drops are and then compare that to the Valkyrie. This barrel is 22 inches long with a one to seven and a half twist. Running Elander 6.5 Grendel mags for both the Valkyrie and the Ark. Right, guys 224 Valkyrie calls for four MOA up Alright guys, taking a look at our groups at 300 yards, we've got our 6 arc over here on the left, and it definitely held a much tighter group than that Valkyrie did. Now all that means is that my particular Valkyrie didn't maybe like that ammo as much, but uh, that 6 arc certainly put a decent group together here at 300 yards. Right near an MOA, there are 5 shots in there. And if anything, that could have brought, been brought up 1 tenth, maybe 2 tenths more. I did accidentally leave the nine degree uh, line of sight angle on that trajectory. 
And this one, I zeroed out the line of sight angle and it seemed to favor just a little bit high and right, but uh, overall not too bad. Maybe down quarter MOA, maybe a half. Hey guys, Miss WGS here, and we're gonna go over the summary of the six ARC and the 224 boundary. At 300 yards, the corrected drops are the same. All right, next we went out to 825 yards and for each gun, it was not the same. So for the 224 Valkyrie, we were at 22 MOA um, or 6.5 mils, um, we got two out of 10 hits. Now for the six ARC, we were at 20 MOA, um, 5.9 or 5.9 mil, and we got three out of 10 hits. All right, so what we found out here is that the 6ARC, the farther the shot, the better it becomes. All right, so we're going to summarize up the Valkyrie here. Um, what we found is that there's less recoil, but um, it's equal to the ARC when it comes to spotting the misses. You can see them just the same, spot them just the same. So summary for the 6ARC, we found that it's faster, um, flatter trajectory, and then um, the heavier bullet equals um, more energy downrange. <laughs> There's less wind drift. The ammo had more consistent velocities. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, drop a comment. Let us know what you think about the two cartridges. Uh, again, thanks for you to Precision for getting us the 6 ARC so soon. It's been awesome taking it out and testing it out. Comment below if you want to see me in future videos. See you next time.